as I've grown. Blood in the sweat, tears and regret. Here he is, the controversial, the legendary, BDP. Make way for the king. Another Mike and Mike production. In three, 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 two, 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 one, 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 zero. Welcome to the Cigar Hustlers Podcast, episode 344, recorded live at the Mike and Mike Production Studio in Deltona, Florida. Turn the music down a smidge, it's, uh, it's talking over you. Well, let's retry it. Okay, turn you the see, music wait, down? You see, well, it starts out low and then it picks up, so when it picks up, you have to turn it down. Okay, so like this. And then move that one down. Yeah, but okay. not all the way down. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure which one all it right. was. Excuse us while we uh, work some things out. We've uh, changed some things again. Sorry. All right, here we go. You ready? Go. Welcome to the Cigar Hustlers Podcast, episode 344, recorded live at the Mike and Mike Production Studios in Deltona, Florida. This is Cigar Hustlers Podcast, the show where two guys share their passion for cigars, business, Sharing and life. Passion. Passion. Join Mike the King Stepan Kevich and his co-host Mike D- BDP Palmer, National Sales Manager for Pochick Cigars, <laughs> as they talk about the latest cigars news, reviews, and interview some of the most influential people in the cigar industry. And me, I'm their engineer and sound tech Phil. Whether you're a seasoned oh, aficionado or new to cigars, this podcast is for you. So sit back, relax, and light up a cigar with Cigar Hustlers Podcast. Cigar Hustlers Podcast. Welcome to the Cigar Hustlers Podcast, a show brought to you commercial free. But a massive shout out to our amazing patrons on Patreon. Thanks to your unwavering support, we're able to deliver unfiltered, unbiased opinions on all things cigars and personalities in the cigar world. You going to say something? Cheers to you. Your backing makes it possible for us to keep it real. He says that part over there. Uh, for our listeners, cheers to you. There it is. There it if is. you would like He's to become a say it. Patreon me- I think he did too. <laughs> Patreon member, go to www.patreon.com and search a cigar hustlers podcast. I have some information about this upcoming Patreon that we haven't recorded yet. Oh. Uh-oh. What did I mess up that we uh, haven't done yet? There's an individual who would like to speak on behalf of copyright infringement. Oh. Yeah, what did we copyright? No, one, one Skip Martin. Oh, oh, on the... the yeah. this, oh, excellent. Yeah, so hopefully we can give him a buzz today and get him on. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, this show is going to be bananas. Bananas. Right here, yeah. This show is going to be bananas. And for the Patreon, we are going to review... The Las Calaveras purple one. I don't the know new one. The, the new, new, the, the, the new one, the one. The one that tastes like the best one from 2015. This is the LC48. <laughs> As so you that's a sick played so nicely on the Phil. Heads up, Phil. Uh, oh, okay. oh, Sorry, that I felt good about the throw. Right. Yeah, it looked good. It did, but it, he's got arched, all sorts of equipment over in, there now. Yeah. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, my scale is not here. Uh-oh. It's on the shelf underneath your big shelf. Oh, yeah, there it is. Other whoa, side. Whoa, whoa, right there. Other side. There, there, there it is. All right. You got it. This show is going to be bananas right here. Let's see. Survey says... 15.6 grams. 15.6 grams. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't have it written down yet. <clears throat> this is the first show in 344 shows. I have really nothing to do but sit here and smoke cigars. I have to read the mail, but I mean the mail, the news. <laughs> oh, everybody is thrilled to death that I have nothing to do. That's nice. Perfect. Uh, Doesn't Phil, it feel good? Phil is very excited. I don't know. It feels very awkward. <laughs> I had to find stuff to put on the table. That's nice. Uh, uh, yeah, what the hell is uh, that's that? That's one of our awards for uh, uh, for 100,000 downloads. Oh. I think I bring it. The other awards are plaques. They don't stand up. Okay. But I put sure. our award out, and then I have to keep I my guy. I want the YouTube one. I have to keep my guy turned because he has no face on the other side. I want the metal YouTube one. You ever see that? <laughs> no. You get it for like a million. Oh, we don't. A million views? views? Or something like We're that. We're not even close. I don't think it's going to happen. Well, sure, eventually. Yeah. Hopefully before I die. At that point, it'll be replaced by fucking like a tinfoil plaque or something. Right. Exactly. It's just too many people. Uh, an NFT that you can't actually touch. It's an NFT. It's just an NFT, NFT award. It's an NFT award. Look at it. There you go. So uh, we went to Zach Bryan this weekend. Oh. Oh, is that yeah. a, that's a singer, right? Yeah, man. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good for you. Did you have a good time? We had a great time. Brittany doesn't know any of his music. 
which, oh. which was fantastic for me. Is it a universal thing? No, no, no. This oh, was, it's a legit concert. Yeah, I thing. had bought tickets for this like eight or nine months ago. I think it was sometime last year. And yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> and it was funny because I don't know how this works. I don't know how this happens, but for whatever reason, Brittany always finds herself dealing with some type of level of fuckery. So that you do? No, no, just caused by like, you. No, just like she attracts the, the universe. Attracts. She's like right. These people There's always something have a tendency to gravitate towards her for okay. whatever fucking reason. So uh, there were a lot of young kids there. It was like all like wide spectrum, right? Oh, at the concert. Yeah. Okay. And we had like this. I guess it was like a mom and her friend, and then like two little teeny bopper, 13, 14 year old girls okay. sitting right next to Brittany. Right. All right. And one of the, this one, one girl, this one girl that's, that's spilled next, her beer on Brittany. No, that's, well, she's 13. So well, she's I don't, a, I mean, it's like, a thing. Who knows? Little. It could be. Uh, the, at every time when she decided to scream, she would face your wife and she would bellow out this, oh, like, wow. Wow. Like this Jamie Lee Curtis fucking shriek. It big, wasn't like big, a woo. It was like a ah! big Zach Brown fan. And she would go Zach Bryan. Oh, okay. and she would. I know go, who Zach Brown is. There's a total. There's a big totally different person. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now I have no idea who you went to go see because I thought you said she. she gave Country this, music. This you, I knew that Zach. I mean, that's not this no. little girl gave out a shriek. I mean, it would hurt my ear, and I was a couple. Oh, a couple. Yeah. Of them. So eventually, it got to a point where. Brittany would look at me like she would turn and then look away from this, like so that her ear could kind of be right. protected away from the little girl. Yeah. And uh, you could see the little girl picked up on it. Like I would look at Brittany and I could see out of my peripherals, I could see this, this little oh, girl. This. Oh, did she feel bad or? Oh, she didn't give a shit. This girl. Oh, okay. Bad. That's <laughs> why when you said she noticed that no. she went, Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. No. Mm -mm. And we had this group of four dudes behind us. Yeah. And one of them was by themselves. Uh, they had, yeah, they were well, like, there, were, there weren't four girls. There no, were? there was like six guys total. All right. And they were all like, uh, I would say mid to late twenties. Like somebody's boss gave them the tickets or whatever. Hmm. And one of them kept kicking Britney's chair before the concert started. So, so, beat his ass. so I killed him. No. Right. So I turned around and I said, Hey, well, he had walked away and they're, and they were making fun of their friend or whatever. Right. The and kicker. I said, yeah, I said, Hey, why don't one of you guys switch with him? So that he, you know, the, they're kicking somebody else's seat other than my wife's, uh -huh. right? And we that just kind of opened up this diatribe. So we were having a good conversation with them. Uh, they named me Brad. They're like, oh, you know, they, like uh, that's the type of guys who were. Right, there was right, one right. guy that was just a, he was just hammered and just going hard in the paint. He started going hard in the paint with a 14-year-old. Was he a redhead? The four, uh, no, no, but he would get along with Ginger. <laughs> he would definitely get along with Ginger. Without, oh. he, he fits that. Fits that criteria. 100%. <laughs> He's your friend that always totes the line that, you know, at any given point, he could say the wrong thing right. and, you know, fists could ensue. Then you're in trouble. Yeah. Right. You could say, you could see that. As they were talking with the the family, like the women in front of us and the and the moms and stuff, they're like, "Oh my God, please, please, the concert just start! I just want this to end. I, I don't, I don't want him to get in trouble. I don't want to get his ass kicked. I don't want to get kicked out of here." Right. I've never gone to a concert with a, just a group of guys. <clears throat> seems a little strange. Yeah. Yeah. Seems weird. No, I mean, I guess I understand that to some degree, some degree, but well, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not, <clears throat> it's not out of the question. It just seems a little unusual. I, you know what, though, but in in this, re like, I like going and, and spending, you know, those moments with my wife, right? Right. And, and um, you know, we're obviously well into our relationship. It's you know, two decades at this right. point. But if it was like, I could see me going to a concert with Chris with Baldwin or something like that. Like yeah. a, like a dude thing, like hey, let's just go. Like they don't like this music anyways. Let's just do this. Right. You know, I guess you're like, right. As far as that goes, but it just yeah. it's such a large group. I couldn't see me, you, Boots, Chris, your brother, Chet, all these guys going. You know, hey, let's go see Bananarama or something. You Ooh, know? Bananarama is great. I, I what just, about like a Wu Tang yeah. concert? Yeah, I wouldn't. I would bring Britney to Wu Tang. Go. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I would bring my wife to everything. I only go to concerts right. if my wife makes me go. Yeah. I don't but, like them. But what if it was the other way around? Like, a uh, 100 years ago, she went to, like, this Pink and Justin Timberlake concert with all her girlfriends or some shit. It seems yeah. different to a bunch of girls going. Yeah. Like, my you neighbor... Think, so you think, like, a concert is either a couple's or a girl thing? I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm just, well, I'm obviously older. 
Uh, my uh, Kenny Bonnet's <laughs> wife went down to West Palm Beach with her girlfriend to go see New Kids on the Block. Oh, oh nice. they go every year. Uh, 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 uh. New Kids, right. there. Wait a second, New Kids on the Block are in constant rotation every year. Yes, every summer. He needs to make some money. Donnie Wahlberg was the <laughs> was the she. I mean, she got like she could have reached out and touched him. That's how uh, close she why got. Why didn't she touch him? She might have. I don't know. She. Yeah, I guess that's her favorite. Yeah. NYPD Blues over. Saw, so he's got to make some money. Right. When I saw the photo, I asked Kenny, "Goes is she coming home?" I saw how close she got to a little ball tickle there. Like, yeah, I got to the Wahlberg. Get up there. He goes, I think she is, yeah. So that's possible. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to keep her. Not at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's just going to... He's, he's just, just going to blow his... No, no, Oh, Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's no. Gonna, she's, just, she's just the blonde he met at yeah, the Yeah, he's going to uh, blow concert. his load and then move on. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's not... Sure. <laughs> right. Yeah, it does have This isn't, I love you, you're the one. But one his... Love. That is, I mean, she's, uh, you know, a, a 40-ish uh, blonde, cute woman. That's his crowd. I, I didn't see any kids in the photos. Right. Yeah, they're all they're all moms and wives. Well, yeah, it's new kids on the block. Right. This this crowd was all ages. Um, a country opens all up. All country. Right. So yeah. Well, very he, con- the a lot whole of, a lot of country. boots and hats and stuff. A lot of yeah. boots and hats. Yeah. Do you wear your? Do you What's go that, with uh, rip? Do you wear I, your rip? I clothes? did not wear my. Oh. I did not wear my rip clothes. You didn't wear your rip not boot? even your boots. Not even boots. I was gonna wear my boots. Okay, why not? I was wearing shorts. This is like and the cigar thing with Palmer on I, his vacation. I was gonna no no. I was gonna wear my boots, but I was wearing shorts, and I know how stupid that looks because of my friend. Oh boots. yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. So I was you like, you know what? We just put on long pants at concert. Yeah. You know what though? I would love that picture. Uh, me, I think the last me, time I wore my boots was a uh, the concert I went to with with boots and his wife. Me and my Ariats with the fucking with with shorts. shorts. Yes, I would never. I would never in Florida, you'd break it away with that Florida. Oh yeah, I would probably just. You would blend not have in. been the only guy there. People probably. have been like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that tracks. Mm, yeah, no, sure. This guy is great. So we go to leave, and we're in the parking lot, right? So I, I so I have. I hey, Brad, we'll see you at the next nah, one. No, so I'm at a point where, like, I know where it's all right. It's mass exit this time, right? Right, like we gotta go. Sure, right. So is that the arena? Yeah. Okay. Show's over, and I'm like, all right, right. <laughs> Let's go. We Brittany's go. In, Brittany's had a few drinks. Her friend, we ran into her. Her friend, uh, like a couple that we know. Right. So they start kind of talking and stuff, and I'm like, go on, go on. Go on. You gotta, 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 come on, you gotta think. Hata, Baby's, hata. Babysitter's gonna leave. Wait up, wait up. We must go. <laughs> and we finally get in the parking lot. Of course, boom. Right. Yeah. We're stuck. <laughs> I out. fucked up the valet. I didn't realize. Yeah, bro. There's only I wanted to valet. Yeah, you got to. But especially a concert. Wait, valet, valet's got to be slow to concert. No, you no. park. In, you park in the little lot no. out front. No, yeah, valet's amazing. But you don't have to get out of the parking garage or yeah, the big man. parking lot jams. Oh, dude, it's stellar. Yeah. It is the best. The problem is though that sometimes they don't open the the the, the r- other side. Yeah, and I'm used to going in on the other side. Right. So I fucked that up. And I'm like, oh, I don't see any cars in there, so we'll just park in the oh. garage. <clears throat> So we're in the parking garage. We're okay. stuck. We're like we're lined in or You're whatever. Lined in. You can't move. But I got cigars. You have to pee. I no, I have cigars. Brittany uh, had to pee. No, no, we're good. You brought more wine for Brittany in the car? Oh, first of all, Brittany <laughs> is going car, prepared. She, car wine. She has a she, cor- corksical fucking yes. yeah. for, for the ride home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're right, ready right. to roll, buddy. Right. There's two of them. One we're, for the ride there, one for the ride we're, home. We're not fucking around. Right. Not our first time. And all of a sudden, like five cars behind us up the ramp and like around a little bit. You hear one guy start yelling, and then some girl yelling, "Get back in the car! Get back in the oh, car!" Oh, fight the parking lot! Oh my god! Yeah, a fight ensues behind us. Oh, like oh no! That's Nicely good. done, yeah, sir. Like like Nicely oh done. no! So right. <clears throat> I'm like oh, fuck, and you know, part of me is like, oh, I gotta, you know, oh, you stay in the car. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Nowadays you get shot. I'm not fucking interjecting. With a bunch of drunk fucking country bumpkin motherfuckers that are all gassed up, ready to right. go. Like, nah. Right. I'm good. I'm good. I'll just wait for this to move forward because I got to get the hell home. <laughs> Were you in the uh, the big SUV or your car? No, nah, we usually take my car. If it's just me and her, right? we we take the charger. Ah. And his chariot. His chariot. Right. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to say some drunk girl grabs the car handle and gets in the backseat. No. <laughs> I hate him. Take me home. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. He's an you, asshole. You two seem nice. <laughs> right. I only brought the one cork cycle. It's mine. Well, they they have a hard time getting into the baby seat in the back. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, that's why I was asking. It, Is it, this Minnie Mouse? It was a funnier joke if you had the big car. Yeah, no. All right. But that also has the Minnie Mouse seat. Yeah, but there's plenty of seats in that car. True. <laughs> Not like you've got that many car seats in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, they'd be like, hey, guy, hey guys, come in here. <laughs> hey, they get room for everybody. Hey, come guys, on. You know what? Just leave leave Carl. Fuck him. Yeah, Let's fuck all him. get in this Let's car. Let's all get in over here. Yeah. Look at this. This is so nice. Look. Can I have a movie? Do you have Zach Brown we can play? Do you have any more of that wine? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> yeah, we just charge a premium. What babysitter are you up to now? Still have the same one? You you were had a recurring one there for a while. We have the same one. However, she had COVID. Oh. So we had to audible uh, for the neighbor, and he came through. Oh, nice. Yeah, neighbor. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's he's, nice. He's my lawn guy, and he's my, my lawn my, guy my and the babysitter, babysitter now. Yeah, that's nice. Does a little bit of everything. Oh, good for him. And uh, I was having him get uh, like acclimated to Bubbles, Yeah, our German Shepherd. Right. That way, if we ever need the dog walking. Oh, throwing in the dog. Yeah, he's the trifecta. Right. He's never allowed to does grow he, up and move he, out of the house. Does he clean? I mean, you made me come nah, over nah, and clean nah, the house. He's still, he's still an 18-year-old kid, bro. Come on. Well, 18's not really a kid. He's 18? Uh, he's not. He, That's a uh, kid. I don't yeah, but he's not going to be around that much. Yeah, I know. Uh, days are not. Is he going to college in the fall or local? Uh, he's going to, I think he's going into like electrical work or whatever. He's, oh, uh, some type of uh, yeah, he's getting uh, an apprenticeship. Internship. Apprenticeship, that's yeah. the word, right. Good for him. Mm-hmm. Good. So, yeah. So that he, could come in handy also. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hey, I got some hey, switches hey, in there. Just for the record, this is kind of fucked up. Right. If you'd like to, you know, increase your yeah. uh, you know, experience. Yeah, hey, I want to get some reps in. There you go. Try. How do you just, feel about just, running an outlet? Re- yeah, just replace some things. It'll be fine. <laughs> so uh he got along well with Bubbles. This is like the first time that Bubbles was actually out with him. Ah, gotcha. And yes. he helped leveled up um my Fortnite. Oh, bit. oh, we played like, with your Fortnite. Hey, account. well, because there's three oh. three Xboxes, so they right. all played together. I said, oh. hey. Uh, I need to get some more you points. Don't spend in. any of the money that I've got on my account, but you can do anything else you want. Yeah. Well, I don't really have any money on my account. Oh, you don't have any money. In your yeah. Account. I'm very sorry. I don't. I don't do that. Oh, not really. What about you? How's the grass? Uh, <laughs> we uh, we actually had a pool day uh, with one of Adrian's friends. Oh. She lives in one of the newer apartment buildings, apartment complexes, I guess, over by the Home Depot. And they have a lovely pool, and the uh, the place is not full yet. It's like a resort style pool with oh. cabanas and stuff. The, the since the complex isn't full yet, the pool is not full yet either. So. Did you get the cabana? We did get a cabana did with a couch and two chairs and a coffee. Did table. you rent it or you just get? The nope, table? just first come first serve. Oh, right. do they have like service there or something? No, you bring your own drinks and food and whatever. But they have the built-in lounge chairs in the pool that you can move around oh. on the ledge and stuff. Oh, I, I would like to crash this. Oh well. Yeah. Next time, I don't get invited all the no, time. No, no, no. Just tell me where it is. I'll just oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, show. Fine, yeah. Well, you have to have a little key fob to get in. Oh, there's like a, some type of magnetic thingy, Bob. Can you steal the key fob? No, I can't steal hers, and she Why can't not? get in. Because then she can't get in. Ask her to get you one. How do you get out? <laughs> uh, well, like if you have to go to the bathroom, you have to take the fob with you, and you can get out, but you can't get back in. Oh, there's not like a little button on the gate that you press to get out. No. Oh well, um, yeah. It's got like the like a standard like safety. The lever. Yeah, the yeah. button. Oh, there you go. Like just reach your hand around the gate, Mikey. You can't. They have it <laughs> walled off. Oh, well, with these ledges. They thought about it. Yeah, yeah. They figured that part we out. We just got to right? do it like right. Cabana Bay does it, where someone has etched out the space in the fence yes. to just oh, just just reach just in lift in it open and push. And boop, yeah. and you're in. Yeah. Oh, good for you. <laughs> but I did mow the grass. Yes, I did a little on Saturday and yeah. finished it on Sunday. Oh, very nice. Right, Adrian had some work to do, and then I came up here and rewired the studio. Oh, and hopefully this is working. Hopefully there's no noise. It looks a lot cleaner over here. I got to tell you. Well, yeah. There's not all the wires don't come to yeah. here. All the wires now go to. We've just taken. You've taken all the fuckery and you have shoved it off. Right. Over yeah. Here. If you look over there, you can't really get to the bathroom because of all the wires. That's fine. I'll just piss right here. Oh, nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, no, I have okay. started breaking stuff down in the other room because we don't need all those cameras anymore. Uh huh. For now. So. And now, uh, as far as. Your job here at the National Sales Manager. Post- yes, of, of post Cigars. You've locked in your first interview. Yes, I have locked in my first, I have uh, had, had a first podcast request. You had media uh, reach out to you. Yesterday, yes. Look at you. Yes. Oh. You're so kinda- that will be August 5th for all of you. How about that cigar? You're a big deal. Uh, apparently uh, going that way, yes. Maybe they'll rank some of our cigars this time. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, I have to send them some samples to smoke on the show. Who's number one? Who's number one? Cigar Hustler, the podcast. Well, I was just playing oh, who's I, number I, one. Oh. <laughs> and I've been, uh, several people put me in different groups I've never heard of before, too, cigar oh. groups. So Look at you. I'm joining those, too, apparently. So You're a kingpin now. 
Yes, yes. So I, I have out. my weekly uh, Jack and Hector call now that uh, to sort review of, as to, to review yeah. uh, things that happened on the show oh. and things they would like to see or hear going forward. Oh, wait till you get to meet so, all. Like you already met some of the retailers, but you met a lot yes. of the good ones. Wait till you get some of the intricacies of some of the shit bags, oh, nice. and then you can have <laughs> none of your shit bags. It just that's what he said, and, not me. And, just so you know. And then you can. I have, love all of you. Now, you, believe me, <laughs> who have working credit cards and checkbooks. Yeah, I, well, these are the ones that I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. That won't place orders with you or break your balls. Or I'm only going to see them once. Yeah. Oh. But don't worry, because then you'll get to talk with them to Jack and Hector. you be like, you know, so-and-so and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, they go, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. fuck that guy. That yeah, guy's a go, piece of shit. Yeah, fuck that guy. Exactly. Right, yeah. yeah fuck that guy. guy. So that's, that, that's going to be fun. He's getting you. good with the buttons. Yeah, he's yeah, doing look, well. Look, right off the rip. Right. Yeah. This I, is, I like the buttons. He's a button guy. Yeah, I feel weird not having the buttons over here. I know. I see your fingers, and you're picking things up and moving around. I'm fiddling. Around. Fiddling. I'm a fiddler. <laughs> I do. I fiddle with things. I fiddle and faddle. Uh, well, this coming weekend is your birthday. It is. I have a oh. present over here. Oh. I have a present. Oh, man. Oh. And as you open it, there's an explanation that goes with the present. I'm not I got quaaludes, I got acid, <laughs> and I got cocaine. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Joker colors. Oh. Or Hulk colors. SBC colors. SBC. Uh, you know, it just worked out that way, but uh, I like all those references, so. Oh, boy. Oh, hold it up. Oh, boy. Hold it up. I'm not prepared to talk about this. Hold up the thong. No, it's just you You had mentioned on a show uh, a month or so ago you wanted to grow your own tobacco. Yes. So I got you a small kit to grow your own tobacco. Oh, look at that. So there's a book on how to grow tobacco. Very nice. Now, uh, can we discuss what you've already received in the mail? No. From Nick Melillo? No. Oh, because those were, weren't were supposed to go the way it went. Oh, really? I had have, I have reached out to him also. Ah. Uh, I was supposed to get those to give. Gotcha. So I had to get my own very, very this. quickly. Very nice. So, yeah. So it's, it's, uh, in it's a box a, still. Yeah, yeah. It's a little uh, kit uh, to grow your own tobacco oh. in a book. And seeds. Thank Connecticut, you very much. Connecticut broadleaf seeds. I know there's a broadleaf shortage now, so yeah, that's the way you can you can conquer the entire problem. It's, it's part of it, yeah. Right. Thank you very much. It's very uh, nice. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. You're a sweet You're man. You're a very, very hard man to get a present for. I can see that. Because if, uh, you know, when you get to be a certain age and you have reached that age, when you want something, you usually already have it. This is true. Right. Like, my wife cannot get me a present to save her life. This is true. She tries so hard every I year. I do have a tendency to buy the things that I want. Right. Immediately. Right. They're still kind of few and far between. I mean, well, because there's not many things you want. Yeah. I did uh, I did have a conversation with Fred Rui. Yes. And I did wind up buying that Remarkable 2 thing where you can kind of write notes and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. that upstairs. That thing's pretty cool. That would have been a good birthday present, I guess. But it's expensive. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I didn't know you, you got that from talking to Fred Rui. I guess he has one. Yeah, he talked about it, and I looked at it a little while ago when he got it, and I guess uh, Frenchie has one. Yeah, oh. So, oh, my God. Don't they, can't you shoot paper? Does it? I like, it I like the organization of it. Does it send it to your computer or something after you do it's it? It's all linked in, yeah. It's pretty cool. And you can write in cursive, and you can translate it over oh, if that's you nice. wanted to. Right. It's just cool. I've gotten out of, I mean, I tried to find a piece of paper to write some down at my house, and we have pens but no paper. There's, there's no paper in that house. Because we no longer keep a printer at the house, so there's no paper. Right. You might need to get a $20 printer with a $110 toner. Right, that's just it. Yeah, the, everything else is so expensive. Just buy the printer, throw it away. Well, that's what we did here the last time. I mean, uh, the first printer, when it broke, it was easy just to chuck and get another one. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, man. That's very uh, sweet. You're welcome, man. You can grow tobacco at your house. Just sure Brittany will love being in charge of the watering program. Yes. Just one more thing for me. One more thing. One more thing. Right. <laughs> well, she stopped cutting up the grapes, so she had plenty of time. Yeah. That's why now she's like, I just, she wants me to choke. Right. She right. says they're too small. We're not allowed to talk about anything happening with you. So we're not allowed to throw that out in the universe. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. We're not allowed. We're not allowed to talk about that. So, Phil, you want to do Phil's fun facts? We're uh, after 16 minutes. Sure. Let's go. What did he stop? He hit a button over there. He's looking to get the... Oh, he's looking for the thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's busy watching the show. I I turned to him and he's staring at the screen. That's cool. (laughs) Mm -hmm. That's 
There's no, it's at the top, I think. He was doing the second so good. screen. He was doing second so screen. Good. It's the first one on the left, I believe. Oh, fun facts. Just looking for the film. Same he's thing, you got to turn it down before you start. He's talking. still learning. Yeah, Welcome yeah, sure. to the Cigar Great. Hustlers podcast feature, Phil's Fun Facts. Hello, peoples. All right. American consumers ate a whopping 30 billion pounds of beef in 2021. While this outpaced production, which was 26.5 billion pounds, the more shocking number is that over 50% of the beef consumed in the U.S. is eaten by 12% of the population. That's 12% as men, ages 45 to 65. Shocker. So next time you light up the grill to put on a nice ribeye, grab a good cigar to go with it. Not shocking. Phil was found to have consumed a 0.1% of this number <laughs> just by himself. That's 3,000 pounds. Leave some for the rest of us, Phil. <laughs> 3,000 pounds annual. Uh. Phil's Fun Facts brought to you by Braze Ranch in Waldo, Florida, and Cigar Houser's Patreon, where the true news and info come out every week in easily digestible 30-ish minute episodes. For just $15 a month, you get full video access to everything the cigar industry doesn't want us talking about. Go to www.patreon.com and search A Cigar Hustlers Podcast. I saw, it. I saw it. A, a podcast or a, a podcast that did a clip about cellophane. Yeah. Should you uh, sniff the cellophane or not? And the guy's like, oh, I don't know. They're going back and forth. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that made the podcast. There well, you, sh- you should not sniff about. this. Old like, what the? F- yeah, yeah. yeah, and the other guy didn't even know. Oh, how long was you this? Could, you thought you could smell through it? Rant. Yeah. Let's I call out that. Saw, let's I call out it. the podcast, dude. I, you know what? I would happily, but I don't know the clip. I don't. I just saw it. I'm like, fuck. Oh, just oh, got you stumbled across it. You do yeah. that a lot. You stumble across these uh, weird. I things. think it's because I do those posts, right? Like now, oh, the, now they're up. now they're worked into my feed. On YouTube or on Facebook? I don't know. It's on uh, one of them, TikTok or fucking... Oh. I have to do all of them now, so... Well, we both do them. Yeah. I don't see that stuff. Really? But I might spend more time on TikTok than you You probably do. see more porn shit than I do. No, no. I, I try not to watch <laughs> any of that. Yeah. Lately, my wife has sent me things from the TikTok shop. Yeah. So I'm mostly seeing commercials now. Oh, perfect. Yes. For watch bands and this powder you sprinkle on the floor to get rid of smells in a house or something. Look, you have three dogs. Four. Right. I mean, I'm only counting. No, the, we have three. I thought you had three big ones. No, we have two big ones and a little one. You have two. Oh, that's right. The three, other, right. The yeah. other, right, okay. Right. Well, when uh, normally it doesn't smell. She's very, she's real good about doing that, but when it got hot, yeah. there was no way you were going to stop Yeah, that. the reality is, I think that yeah. you can still, like, you can do everything to clean the house. Right. And But it's still going to smell like dog to some degree, and you're sure. not going to smell it anymore. Right, that's what I was about yeah. to say. Right, yeah, but if you came in, you would I'd be like, it. oh, dog. Right. right. You yeah. have a dog. Right. Well, that powder came out years ago. It was carpet fresh or something, they used to say, and then you would sprinkle it down and vacuum it up, and they stopped making it because it was bad for you. Yeah. You were inhaling it in your lungs, and it was sucking up your vacuum. and So I reminded Uh, her of that. She was like, oh, yeah, you're right. We don't want that now. Yeah. Like the dogs running around, sniffing it up through their noses and stuff. They got a Coke problem now. Right. Yeah. It's terrible, and I can't afford that. I can't call Coop all the time. Yeah. I got Quaaludes, I got acid, and I got cocaine. C- c- cocaine. That's right. Too much co- cocaine. <laughs> Too much co- co- cocaine. <laughs> Too much. But yeah, he does. He does. All right. Well, on with the news. Yeah, right the From the four news, quarters right of the world, the- all the cigar industry news you could possibly need. The Cigar Hustler Podcast Report with Mike Two. Kirka versus Davidoff. Year of the Dragon lawsuit is scheduled now for September of 2025. You know, when you look at the phone, I can see you. I don't get a single thing. I know. <laughs> so you know. Uh oh. Mm. Oh what? Oh, uh, she went to be on the oh, show. And I'm not attached. Oh, you can hold it up to the speak to the microphone. Oh, Hello, that we're podcasting. Hello. Oh good. Oh good. Yes. You have not been on in so long. I know. I know. And you were talking shit about my Garibaldi's last week. <laughs> 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you got it completely wrong, but that's fine. Yes, um, I'm fact check. A football practice tonight. Yes, it's happening. Okay. It's been canceled. All right. Is that okay? What did he, say? he said it's been canceled. For basketball. Now we're doing basketball. So now we're doing basketball. Oh, I mean, I wish it was canceled tonight, but whatever. 
All right. Okay. Talk to you later. All right. Love you. Bye, Brittany. Bye. She seems so happy. Three o'clock on a Monday. She has to call to find out if there's practice. Yeah, well, we haven't had a lot of turnout of kids like the past consecutive weeks. It's right. just been Jackson, one other kid. Oh. Mm, yeah, so she's just like, well, do it at your house. She's like, well, what the fuck? Right. And now, of course. Is it not season? Um, Is this um, well, we're, uh, optional we're, practice? We're, yeah, we're gearing up right now. So uh, the conversation was, well, if it's just going to be these two kids and, you know, we got other shit to do. Right. Like, we have people in town. So oh, just skip it, it. John and Emery. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll just go hang out. You know, we want to hang out with them. Right, sure. <laughs> so, but then, of course. How is she doing? Everybody's going to be at this practice. Oh, uh, yeah, everybody's going yeah. to show up. Yeah, the one you don't go to. Right. How is she doing? Last time she was here, she had foot surgery She's or something. She's doing great. No, she had uh, knee surgery. Knee she surgery, and it was surgery. something. She was limping. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. She's doing great. Good. One of our biggest fans. Yes. All right, uh, let's see, where were we? Gurkha's enemy list and trademark lawsuit over Davidoff's use of Year of the Dragon has been scheduled for next fall. Judge William P. Demetrioulos. Next fall? Yeah, next fall. Yeah, a lot of a lot of time. A lot of work has to be done to get this together. So like, is that this fall coming up? No, 2025. So fall. a year later, a after year, the year of the dragon has happened. Right. It will no longer be a issue at that point. <laughs> so it's like, uh, you guys got to stop selling us. They're like, okay. Okay, fine. We'll, we stop, we'll stop it. Fine. fine. We don't care now. Uh, Southern District of Florida was scheduled for a two-week jury trial to begin on September 15th, 2025 at the U.S. Courthouse in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Well, there's a number of ways that the trial doesn't begin on that date. The parties could settle. Typically, legal delays could happen on the side that would reject the option to use a magistrate judge. The scheduling shows a legal matter is continuing to move towards a trial. So I think you're right. By then, uh, Davidoff just goes, all right, we'll stop. He's going to shit when he realizes it's shit. Right. So the enemy list was filed by Gurkha late last year and centers around the Davidoff limited edition 2024 year of the Dragon Cigar. Gurkha Cigar Group, we've read about this. So, like, what's the logic here? Is, yeah. it just, is it just the publicity that they're enjoying? Because, I think that's it. Because it's going to cost them a lot of money. Sure. Right. It's they probably gonna, already has. For what it's, outcome? It's going to cost the other guys a lot of money. Right. So, I thought this was settled because of the wording or something, because it says Year of the Dragon, and you can't trademark a... Uh, Phrase? Well, a calendar event or something. Mm. It'd be like saying you couldn't do a Christmas sale, because we registered the word Christmas. Mm. Well, that well that would be 20% different, right? No, it, it doesn't matter. They're, they're suing over the, the use of the Year of the Dragon. Right. But they didn't invent that. It is technically the year of the dragon. I'll get an attorney to come call on. Oh, okay. Next week. Yeah. Because I would be I would be curious to understand why they're not speeding up the process to have it done before it's released. Well, the defense could probably drag it out. But you would but you would think that an attorney would go, Hey, you can't release this until this trial is Yeah, but I think the defense That's uh it's the, an injunction or something they yeah. call it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we have to get somebody on about that. Okay. That's the only news. That's, uh, I'm looking to see if that's the only that news you have. Everything else was releases and reviews this week. Well, what came out? Long live the Queen Maduro is heading to stores. Who's oh. that? That's, is that Caldwell? Out. That just came out this morning. Yes, that's Caldwell. Early last year, Caldwell Cigar Company released the Long Live the Queen, a Cameroon wrap cigar that has an extension of sorts of the company's Long Live the King line. Now there's a new version of the Queen. I wonder if it's the, the same, just a different band. Uh, no, it's a different cigar. Today, uh, the distribution group, the new owner, what, uh, Laudis? Laudis? Yeah. You don't know either? <laughs> Spell it. Spell it. L-A-U-D-I-S-I. Laudisi. Laudisi. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with Laudisi. Perfect. Laudisi. The new owners of Caldwell Cigar Company are beginning to ship the Long Live the Queen Maduro. It's a new regular production line that uses the Mexican San Andreas wrapper. Over a binder from Indonesia and fillers from the Dominican Republic and the U.S. Long live the Queen Maduro is being made at the Ventura family El Mastro oh. cigar in Dominican Republic. El Mastro? El Mastro. M-A-S-T-R-O. Maestro? El Maestro? Is that, is that is the, there an E is in that there? The name M-A-E? Of the, M-A-E. M-A-E. Maestro? El Maestro. Maestro? It means like the teacher. Uh, I know what Maestro means. Mike. Do you? But That's the name of their factory? Then Maestro? You, know, you said Mastro. So well, you know a, that I said it phonetically. I thought Maestro would have an I. 
It's not A before E, except after C. Mm -hmm. So there's a long live the Queen Maduro, Queen's Crest, which is a five and a half by 45. There's the Queen's Charge, the Queen's Coronet, the Queen's Chalice, and the Wild Card. Yeah, because didn't they um, kill... The long live, long live the king. Uh, king died a while ago. King died. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a long live the king. Then there was kill the king, and there was zombie king. Yeah, my brother the king. Uh, the here's brain. the prince. Uh, Dar- the dragon king. Targaryen king. Right, all sorts. False of king. <laughs> tons of tons yeah. of. So kings. all the king was gone. Though. Yeah. All the kings are gone. Uh, Child killer king. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that was completely different. That's well, that was House Targaryen. Yeah, that's right. crazy. Uh, Hoya Cabanetta Lancero. Yeah. Completely rebrands the cigar lines usually means that the most defining visual features is is likely to change at least somewhat. When Hoya de Nicaragua However, that's not the case when it not, comes to Hoya de Nicaragua. That's Cabanetta. what it says. When Hoya de Nicaragua opted to rebuild its Cabanetta line in 2016, that absolutely did not happen. Right. And now uh the line was previously known as Hoya de Nicaragua Cabanetta, but now it became Hoya Cabanetta. Ah. They took out de Nicaragua. De Nicaragua. Yes. In addition to the, well, it's cheaper that way. They make smaller bands. Yeah. You know what? Less words. Less words. We were going less words. What words can we remove? <laughs> Let's take date Nicaragua out. What do you think? I uh, wonder if that has something to do with um, legalities from the country. Like you can't sell it. Do you because think they got sued by Nicaragua? Well, isn't that what happened to Nick? I, well, there's. I think there's something similar. Oh, that's maybe right. they, they said, well, you can't say Nicaragua. You can't say Nicaragua. What yeah. are you doing? So now it's just joy. Now it's just joy. Now it's just joy. Just joy. But absent was the Hoya de Nicaragua. Uh, okay, that's the same cigar. Is it joy or is it Hoya? It's Hoya. It's Hoya. Okay. J's are pronounced uh, as H's. Let's see right. what else. These are all news stories as of this morning. Oh, it's just so stupid. <laughs> Surrogate's Big Ten Limited Lawnsdale Extra is shipped. Oh. I love how you're just like, eh, Whatever. Well, I don't like the shipping stories, and then they do reviews, and they don't make it look like a review till you get halfway through, and then you're like, I just got based on a freaking review. You just like the big, ago. the big, big stuff. I like the stories, or the news. Right. Apparently, no news this week. There, oh. We made this cigar. We're going to ship it. Oh, okay. And, Did, we, and we removed the Nicaragua. Right. We removed Nicaragua. Don't you have a weekly meeting with uh, Jack and Hector? There's no news yeah. on that side. That's not stuff I'm allowed to talk about anymore on the show. Oh. I got in trouble one time because we said stuff we weren't supposed oh. to. Okay. Uh, let's see. HVC Selection Number One Connecticut Short Robusto. It's a review. Okay. What'd they get? What did it get? What'd it get? Oh, fuck you. Let me wait, wait. Let me guess. All right. Let me guess. Hold on. First, I'll tell you who reviewed it. Okay. Yeah, because that does make a difference. It makes it does. a difference. I gotta Brooks, go. I gotta Brooks go. All, I gotta go all the way to the end. All the way to the end. All the way to the end. Charlie. Oh, Charlie, Charlie reviewed it. He did all the stories this week. Oh. Everybody was on vacation. I mean, so I'm going to say that it got an 86. Hold on, Phil. Yeah, Phil. HVC Connecticut? HVC Connecticut. Um, <laughs> yeah, 84. Ooh, 80 went lower. And, Under 90. And not that I'm nitpicking, Charlie, but the picture is upside down. <laughs> you are nitpicking. The picture is upside down. Picture upside down. I thought maybe it was showing like maybe the side of it, the HVC the Nicaragua was upside down by mistake. Yeah. But no, the entire band is upside down. Maybe the guy's working a lot. He's by himself right now. Apparently, maybe he lit the wrong side. Maybe that's There's why the the rating is not as good. Some sort. Oh, here's what he's showing. That's why. Okay, fine, Charlie. It's not really upside down. Uh, there was some sort of weird film around the band on the final cigar. It didn't leave any residue on the wrapper. What it looks like is when they, because you know they push those out of a, a bigger piece of paper. Yeah, it's the edge. It's the. It's got a frayed edge on it. Uh, so he some, gave you more information. Somebody your, just not. Yeah, I normally just look at the pictures. Does your rating still stand, Mikey? I'm sticking with 86. Okay. And what did uh, Phil say? 84. 90. Wow. Whoa. The first HVC selection, number one Connecticut Short Busto, is one of the best cigars I smoke for review all year. All year. Wow. Wow. Well, let's see what other. Maybe he's in a good mood that day. What else did he review? <laughs> Asylum 12 is shipping, which, if you look at the picture, I thought it was some type of uh, Wi Fi adapter. It does look like a Wi-Fi it adapter. Does. Completely black with a little a little tiny blue skull. Quesada shipping. So a lot of shipping. A lot of shipping. Lot Finally. Of shipping. Cavalier Genovese limited edition is shipping. Fonseca edition. Okay, here's another review. The Fonseca edition MX Robusto. 
Okay. Okay, let's see who shipped it. Edition. We'll take a edition MX. It's a My Father Cigar. Okay. Mm, again, Charlie. Charlie again. Mm. Very busy this week, Charlie. Well, I mean, I'm feeling like... We just like, gave a 90 to HBC. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's feeling pretty good. <laughs> he's in a good I'm, mood. I'm going to go 88 on this one. Oh, 91. Oh, right in the middle, 89. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, I didn't think I went to well, shirt... He, he lost because he overbid. Yeah, he That's how that here. works. Oh, it's oh right. price, price is right. Price yeah. is right. You went over. <laughs> Well, I don't think I want the sharpness or dryness to increase. It almost felt like many of the flavors of my father's Fonseca edition MX Robusto were operating with some limiter. Some limiter? That's what it says, limiter. It's uh, some limiter. Some limiter, 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 limiter. Spell okay. check. Wow, we have a lot of time to kill. That's all right. <laughs> and we're just going to make it short today. 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes. Um, see, we read this last week. Uh, oh, there's a wonderful story with my picture on it. That looks great. Yeah. That's nice. All right, That's nice. so that's it. Tiamo, the original San Andreas Valley cigar. That's a review. See, it looks deceiving. And then we usually don't do accessories. There's a there's a knife. Uh, Liga Provada Unico Series Pancetta returns. The shipping. Well, obviously, we're gonna have a very long Patreon. Dunbarton's new overseas line will only be available overseas. Yeah. Which line? Dunbarton's new overseas line. Oh, overseas. Oh. We only be able to get it overseas. Yeah. <laughs> please, it's in the name. Here's what's really funny about that is I guarantee you. Eighty percent of that sold back into the U.S. Oh sure. Oh really? yeah. Right. Oh, because yeah, a lot of people here consume it. Yeah, they'll buy it and ship it in. <clears throat> so does it become more expensive? Like, do you have to buy it twice? Are you saying retailers are going to buy? Or are you saying just consumers? Uh, both. It would be big on the black market. Okay. Or the secondary. Sorry, so secondary. yeah, so it becomes secondary. a lot secondary more market. expensive we don't, on we don't the like secondary it. market. Right. I mean, secondary. even still, it's going to be at a higher price because their taxations are way higher, and then shipping over here is going to be higher. Right. How come a company doesn't release, you know, like, okay, he has the overseas edition. How come they don't release any in the U.S. just because it's just an exclusive, like a store exclusive? Well, yeah, they're looking to cater to another market. Okay. Maybe that maybe that tobacco blend doesn't do as good over to the No, that's market. bullshit. Okay. <laughs> they're just trying to cater to another market and another buyer. That's all. Okay. Uh, if you hear, well, we think that this will... Do better for the European market instead of the U.S. market. That's complete horseshit. Oh, I looked up the wrong cigar. Yeah, I just didn't know if like maybe they consume more Connecticut over there versus Maduro or something. You know, they probably consume lighter cigars. But you know what? So does the U.S. Okay. Is this the Las Calaveras Edition Limitada? Nope, it's not that one. Not the Decimo. Uh, that's the 2014. All right. Well, hey, let's get into the Patreon. Yeah, well, we uh, got to do a shop of the week. Shop of the week, Michael. Lake Country Cigars. I will be there. August 19th, I think. I got to book my flight. Yep. August 19th? Is, that what it is? is it the 19th? I thought I you said it was changed because of somebody else. No, he thought, it, there. he thought it was in July. Oh, July. Uh, eight, August 19th. I will be there. This Friday, we have an event upstairs for Placencia. For the Oma. At Cigar Hustler. The Oma Tepe Humidor Oma giveaway. Tepe. Yeah, we're giving away the Oma Tepe Humidor. 80% off uh, the Oma Tempe cigar. 80%? Uh, sorry, 20% off. You pay, Holy you pay 80%. Shit. You pay 80%. You pay 80 You pay 80 <laughs> Sorry, I got all excited. <laughs> you pay 80%. Yeah, yeah. in store only. In store only. Mm -hmm. Thank God Mikey caught that. You can possibly, yeah, good thing you got that. <laughs> Be a huge sale going on upstairs. <laughs> I get fired before I even started. Right. <laughs> and you could win yeah. the uh, Oman Tempe humidor with the lava rock built yes. into it. And then we got some other cool Very things nice. going on up, upstairs. So we'll talk yes. more about it in the upcoming month. Uh, you got a listener of the week? It's not my job. Now I have no job. Actually, I pulled the news when there is news. There's only one story. This I have a secondary story. We decided not to cover that story, so it's fine. You have a secondary story? Uh, yeah, yeah, we decided yeah, to cover it. We can't go to that story. So not to. It's a little too political. Yeah. Listener so, listener of the, of the week, week, Michael. Just say one. Let's see if he's still listening. Romatron. He listens. I don't know. I haven't heard from him lately. Oh, he texted me twice last week. Oh, he, he still yes. sends all the pictures. Does he? Um, he means he tags us all. Yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah
Anybody smokes one of our cigars. He sends pictures. Sends pictures. I well, like I get it in my inbox. That's I why like I, that I figured that. Boots would like, or Phil would like special pictures, Roman Yeah. No. You can send him special pictures. Send you don't him, have to do that. Send him um, special ones. That would make him excited. Make him very happy. Oh. Matter of fact, if anybody would like to send him special photos. No. Yeah, send them straight to... Tag them on his Instagram. M-K-E Palmer. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, 45. I'm happy right, now. We're 45. We're fine. All right. All right. Good. All right. We got to go. Thank you very much. It's been Thank episode you. 344. Bye. Bye. Hey there, cigar enthusiasts. If you're looking for the latest and greatest in the cigar world, then you need to tune into the Cigar Hustler Podcast Patreon. Join us every week. Wait, every weekly? Yeah, yeah. Join us every week for insider news, exclusive interviews, and some of the most entertaining and incessant bullshit discussions you'll ever find anywhere. Whether you're seasoned aficionado or just starting your cigar journey, we've got something for everyone. Do not miss out! On our behind-the-scenes stories, industry updates, and the occasional rant. <laughs> the occasional rant. The occasional rant that will keep you coming back for more. So grab your favorite cigar, sit back, and light up with the Cigar Hustle Podcast Patreon available weekly. Subscribe today and become part of the Hustler family.